massive show we have for you tonight here on King TV. Brookstar. Peter, Peter, Peter. I am very much so looking forward to seeing you in action today because today's episode is just going to be you in action, your show. Well, it is. It's live from the White Horse Club here. I was uh, privileged to perform with James Birmingham, who will be on very soon on uh, King TV in the coming episodes. And uh, it was simply amazing. A full house, great uh, band that we, we have as well on, on stage, the Showgirls. It's amazing. As usual, we have the uh, trivia and what else? And of course, uh, King's Kitchen with Derek J. Um, all right, well, let's get this episode rolling. What do you think, Peter? Uh, yes, silly. Right here on King TV. That's all right with you. That's all right, no mama. Now just any way you do. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Well, that's all right, no mama. Any way you do. Well, mama, she don't tell me. Mama don't tell me too. Some that girl you're fooling with, she ain't no good for you. Well, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Well, that's all right, no mama. Like a job, Let's walk down to the preacher 
let's say that I do, then you know you'll have me, I know that I'll have you, and I'll be cruel to a heart that's true. I don't want no other love, a baby is as you I'm thinking of. Don't be cruel to a heart that's true. You don't be cruel to a heart that's true. I don't want no other love, oh, baby, is this you I'm thinking of? Like an angel, walk like an angel. Talk like an angel, but I got why you're the devil in disguise. Oh, yes, you are, devil in disguise. Oh, yes, you are. I thought that I was in heaven, but I was sure surprised. Heaven knows how you lie to me, you're not the way you sing. Walk like an angel, walk like an angel, talk like an angel, but I got why. You the devil in disguise, oh yes you are, devil in disguise, oh yes you are. You cheated with your kisses, you cheated and you schemed. Heaven knows how you lie to me You're not the way you say me Look like an angel Walk like an angel Talk like an angel But I got why You're the devil in disguise Oh yes you are Devil in disguise Oh yes you are. Wait, wait. You're you the devil in disguise. Oh yes you are. Devil in disguise. Oh yes you are. Devil in disguise. Oh yes you are. Devil in disguise, oh yes you are, devil in disguise. Welcome back to Plastic EP's Trivia. The man with the gold jacket, all the trivia, all the information. Still hasn't let me in the vault, though. But I got one thing to say. What do you got? Hey, baby, it's the king. It's a king, <laughs> but I'm not king if I'm not allowed to go on this side of this vault. You'll get into the vault, maybe well, next season. What, what have you got in the vault? What have you got in the vault for, t- for us tonight? Well, I've got a lot of good questions that I studied, sat down in the vault, wrote them out. It's really good. Did you know the day after Elvis died, how many albums he actually sold? Look, I know Elvis's number one hit after he died was Way Down. Now, that was his last number uh, hit after he died. But then again, they recreated Rubber Necking, which became number one. Stop, Look and Listen, which was... Uh, uh, a little less conversation became number one. I don't know. You got to tell me. He actually sold 20 million albums. Can you believe that? 20, 20 million, million albums, albums in one day, the day after he passed away. I mean, that's. I mean, John Lennon sold a lot of albums. I think too. I would have bought 10 uh, after he died because my sister came back and she, she had this clump of uh, albums she brought back. Everyone went crazy. Did you know in 1994, Christie's Auction House actually sold Elvis's Amex credit card? And guess how much they sold it for? Well, I personally would have paid ten thousand dollars for it. Easy. Well, higher than that. Twenty thousand. Higher than that. You got to tell me, plastic. Forty-one thousand four hundred dollars for a plastic car that has no, no facilities to withdraw any money, is it? <laughs> it's just a plastic true. card. That's exactly right. Oh my god. Plastic for plastic. Pla- plastic for plastic. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Now tell me which artist actually toured with Elvis with the Beatles. And the Eagles, the band the Eagles. Have a guess. An artist. Is this an a, artist. Is a singing artist? Or? Singing artist. I'll, I'll give you a clue. He yep. wore black glasses. Roy Orbison. That's it. Ding, ding. Roy Orbison toured with Elvis? Yep. With Jerry Lee Lewis? No. Well, 
I think they must have got together too. That's I guess amazing. It's from the old days, but he actually did it. As I said, the Beatles, Elvis, and the Eagles. That's fantastic. He had one of the yeah. best voices, and you know he was one of the traveling Wilburys, don't you? With George Harrison. That's Roy Orbison, of course. That's yes. right, he was in, and then he passed away. And then it was rumored that we're going to have Del Shannon to take over his place, but Del Shannon passed away. Wow. You That's know what? true. Folks, you don't want to be part of the uh, traveling <laughs> Wilburys. Wilburys Could they do. all pass away? No, very sad. <laughs> Plastic EP, we're getting very close to the end of this segment, and so I want you to give me your best. What have you got? Well, in 1967, Alice did a movie called Clam Bake. Yeah, what a, what a movie that was. That was a great movie. Yeah. Clam Bake, you want to do Clam Bake? Oh, let me do the singing. Plastic, okay. let me do the singing. <laughs> anyway, he had two male co stars. Do you know the co stars? Look, I remember one because he became famous doing The, the Incredible Hulk, and that was That's right. Bill Bixby. Spot on. But okay. the other guy, he was actually famous for being in a Western, he had his own TV Western show. Well, I don't, I, I don't know that. I'll give you his first name, Will. The only Will is Will Robinson from Lost in Space, I don't know, but no, it's Will's, Will Hutchins. Oh, fantastic, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the country and Western. Oh, here's one for you, uh, I'm, okay, gonna, I'm gonna take you back. Now, Bing Crosby, That's it. famous for singing White Christmas. His son actually appeared in an Elvis movie. Did he? I didn't yeah. know that. His name is Gary uh, Crosby, and he, he was in the movie Girl Happy. Fantastic. There you go. And, Girl uh, happy. I said, let me do the singing for here, Plessy. And <laughs> you uh, sing my line from he, that? He performed in Girl Happy. Hang on, I'm afraid you're I'm sorry. He's at it again. He's at it again. We've got to hang yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll make him do it. You've got to sing a, a couple of lines from Girl Happy. Every girl I see looks good to me. What a crazy way I were to be. I need a life of nothing but... Beautiful women, yes I'm girl happy, yes I'm. We better cross over for a commercial happy. break before it gets out of hand. Right here with Plastic EP on Trivia. Hello everyone and welcome back to the King's Kitchen. Here I have once again Mr. Derek J. Now what are we doing today? Uh, Brooke, what we are going to do, this is another favorite dish what uh, Elvis liked. He loved his roast pork. Ooh. Okay. And uh, I'm going to do exactly what his chef did. Some, somewhat a bit different than the Australians cook. Okay. So, so what are we going to start first with? First of all, you know, they add a half a cup of vinegar. Vinegar, okay. And then comes the salt. One teaspoon of salt and then comes he loved his pepper of course oh, pepper and the pepper <laughs> do you like spicy food or was it more so just no no the, the reason you know though I add two tablespoons of uh, pepper there's it's no big deal about it because once it's boiled and cooked you you won't even feel it yeah so again just to have the nice fla flavor I'm going to... Onions. And don't cry. I'm, no, I'm, I'm doing you chop onions. I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> I've been cooking. How long have you been cooking, actually? Nearly 45 years. It's I, a long time. I wasn't even born then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to add this uh, onions with, uh, with the mixture. Yep. And again, as I said before, uh, a bit of ginger also gives the nice flavor. For th This is somewhat different. I don't think you guys would have made your roast pork the way I'm making because I got the recipe from Elvis uh, uh, chef last week. Mm. And uh, so these are the things what they do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just, just a phone call away, do you? Phone call away. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. And you're very good at dicing those up. Have you ever chopped your finger before? No, not at all. Uh, thank God for that. You need to so, teach me because I'm always chopping my fingers. Nah, I'm there for you all the time. All right. <laughs> so, so what I've done is this is the the mixture of the of the pork. Yeah. So I'm going to put this in a pan here. Uh, that's the pan I'm going to cook the pork. I'm going to cook that for at least three and a half hours on low fire. Okay. So that it gives that nice flavor with vinegar, ginger, garlic. And also, just before that, something which I entirely forgot was a touch of cin cinnamon powder. Cinnamon. So we put the cinnamon powder. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we put the cinnamon powder, I'll tell you, after, 
after three and a half hours, believe it or not, the, the roast pork is going to be so tender, you won't see any brown, uh, red marks on it. It will be cooked properly and you're going to invite someone to come and try uh, roast pork. Fantastic. All right, I'm looking forward to that as well. I uh, pour the, all the ingredients, which I told you, ginger, garlic, cinnamon, uh, onions, the vinegar, pepper, and salt. Yeah. And then we add the, add the pork. Add the main ingredient. The main ingredient. <laughs> so what, I, what I'm doing now is that, just to get the flavor, I'm turning it into all the four sides. Ah, yep. Yeah. So you get the flavor on the bottom side of it. All right. So first of all, I do this and leave it, as I said, for at least three and a half hours. So it's going to cook for a long time and give you the nice flavor. And uh, you're going to get one, one of our studio audience, I don't know whom you're going to get, to try our pork. Amazing. Well, we've got three hours to kill. Um, let's go do something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what I've done, Brooke, is that I cooked that for three and a half hours. Yep. And I brought this here with the syrup, with the, with the gravy, of course. Oof. And uh, I'm going to cut this into slices. And uh, again, I don't know whom you're going to invite for you to try this pork. Uh, yeah, well, I think we should call forward um, himself, the king, Mr. Peter. <laughs> the king my is boy, coming. <laughs> my boy, that smells fantastic, Gary. I love this segment because what happens with this segment is I get to eat and try officer's favorite okay, Your food. mouth is drooling. Man, uh, it really is. <laughs> it's good to have Brooke involved, by the way. And I know. With Gary. I'm loving this. Yeah. All right. Peter, by I'm the looking way, forward by to By the this. way, Brooke is also a good cook, I, I was yeah. told. Well, you're, with your expertise and guidance, of course. This looks amazing, guys. It really does look amazing. It smells great. I, I don't know for the, for the people out there in TV land. It smells absolutely divine. Lady first. Of absolutely. course. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, you ready? Here, Peter. I, I'll have half of that. It's a, it's a big ha piece there. Mm -hmm. No, mate, you'll I'm be right. small Elvis. Here we go. Now, we, we're going to cut this while I'm taking it. All right, I'll have the other half then. Guys, let me tell you, this is really fantastic. That The smell... If it smells half as good as what it, uh, sorry, mm. tastes half as good as what it smells. Let's see. Elvis loved his pepper, didn't he? I love it. I love it. Mm. Elvis, you get the best food out. I love King's Kitchen. I'm going. I'm going to eat the rest of it. Bye, <laughs> guys. See you next week. I'm going. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Thank you guys, you've been watching The King's Kitchen. I've been Brooke and we've had the beautiful Derek J. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I got a whole lot of money that's a rare bird. So get those things so the higher. There's a thousand pretty women waiting out there. They're all living, the devil may care. And I'm just a devil with a lot of respect. So people loves me. People loves me. How I wish that there were more than a 24 hours in a day. Even if we were a lot for them more, I wouldn't spend a minute away. Oh, this blackjack and poker and the roulette wheel. A fortune one lost on every deal. All you need is going out and a nurse. So people lost me. People Las Vegas with your neon flashing and the one on that crashing All this slows down the drain People Las Vegas turning night into day, turning day into night See who wants, will never be the same again Gonna keep on running, gonna have me some money It cost me in my very last time And I wind up broke, will I'll always remember that I'm I'm gonna give it everything I've got. A lady, please let the dice stay hot. And let me shoot seven with the left shot. So be bad, I'm
hope you liked tonight's episode of King TV. It was an absolute pleasure to perform for you. Peter, you. you should call yourself Shakira because your hips do not lie um, with those moves that you had. Those... It's, it's a little bit shaky, man, but uh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely enjoy that. Um, you don't do a bad move yourself there. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. <laughs> she is Elvis. And don't forget, Brooke does a fantastic rendition of Elvis. Been a big show. Uh, what, bit of uh, news with Plastic EP. Now, he's going to be in the studio live next week as wow. well. Wow, okay. And uh, he's requested if anyone wants to be live in his uh, audience, please write in and we'll have you in there with Plastic EP. Oh, that's right. Doesn't allow many people in, but I think after last week we had a full house for him. Right in, and we'll have you here with Plastic EP. I'm Peter Triantis. I'm Brooke Starr, and this has been King, King TV. TV. Since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. Well, it's down at the end of Lonely Street, and my break will tell. Well, I'll be so lonely, baby. I'll be so lonely, baby. I'll be so lonely, I could die. My baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. Well, it's down at the end of Lonely Street, at my break hotel. I'll be so lonely, baby. I'll be so lonely, baby. I'll be so lonely, I could die. I'll be so lonely, I could die. Crying it all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. Well, you never caught a rabbit, and you ain't no friend of mine. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. Well, you never caught a rabbit, and you ain't no friend of mine. I'm all shook up, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the bless of my soul wants to run with me. I'm preaching like a man on a milky tree. My friends say I'm acting wild as a bug. I'm in love. I'm all shook up, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, Well, my hands are shaking and my knees are weak. Can't do stand on my whole degree. When you have such luck, I'm in love. I'm on sugar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, please don't ask me what's on my mind. I'm a little mixed up, but I feel fine. When I'm with a girl, girl I love best. You know my heart beats so it's scared to you that you touch my hand. What a chill I got. My lips are like a whole pale as I'm proud to say that she's my blood and love. I'm in love. Ah. I'm on sugar, uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 y